Today, I'm applying a below-knee cast made of Benicast POP Gold. This is suitable for all ankle and foot indications. However, in addition to emergency treatment, such as the application of Backslaps POP, is often used for indications that require a very close moulding, such as displaced fractures, talipes, or total contact casting for the treatment of diabetic foot ulcers. The products required include one piece of 7.5 cm Benicast stockinette, one roll of 15 cm Benicast undercast padding, four 15 cm rolls POP gold. Position the limb appropriate to the indication and maintain this throughout the application. On this occasion, it is in a neutral position with the ankle at 90 degrees. Apply the stockinette from the toes to the tibial tuberosity. Ensure it is smooth throughout with no wrinkles. Using the 15 cm undercast padding, start to wrap at the base of the toes with a double covering. This will provide sufficient padding to be folded for a soft edge to the cast. Keeping the roll close to the limb, continue wrapping covering 50% of the previous turn, paying particular attention to the heel, working towards the tibial tuberosity. Complete this procedure with a double turn at the proximal aspect and tear off the roll. This provides the foundation of a well-fitting cast. Today the product of choice is the Benicast POP Gold. I will use four rolls of 15 cm. If desired, apply examination gloves to prevent your hands from becoming dry. Remove the roll from the wrapping and immerse the roll into cool water until the bubbles disperse. Cooler water will provide a slower set time whilst room temperature water will decrease the set time. Give a moderate squeeze to remove the excess water. Start to bandage at the knee around the distal aspect of the tibial tuberosity, covering 50% of the previous turn. Work the bandage down the leg at the toes, continue with the bandage back up to the limb, applying extra layers over the foot and ankle. Now take the second bandage and repeat as with the first. This will ensure even coverage throughout. Smooth the cast to laminate the layers and ensure the cast is strong and durable. If desired, turn back the ends of the stockinette, of which this should be no longer than 2 cm. Ensure there are no rough edges and that all the toes are exposed and the knee can flex to a minimum of 90 degrees. Depending on the indication synthetic casting material, such as Benicast Advanced or Benicast Select, can be used at this stage to complete the cast and produce a perfectly moulded, very durable combi cast. However, if continuing with POP, take the third roll and repeat as you did with rolls one and two. However, start slightly lower to maintain the soft edge and capture the end of the stockinette. Mould the cast to ensure it is smooth and has good lamination. 
Now continue this process with the final roll, replicating the application technique as before, ensuring you have even coverage throughout. Now change places with the person supporting the limb and mold the cast well. Using one hand to mold and one to provide support, alternating to prevent indentations. Ensure the cast is smooth with good lamination throughout. Continue to mold the cast until it feels dry to touch and slightly brittle. It will sound a little hollow when tapped. Check the cast to ensure it is not causing constriction of the knee or at the toes. I would now suggest you rest the limb on a pillow. This type of cast can take between 24 and 48 hours to dry fully. Written and verbal cast care instructions should be provided to all patients wearing a cast. Sign up to the Benacare Academy to download a PDF step-by-step -step application guideline of this tutorial and be the first to watch when we launch new videos. benacaremedical.com forward slash academy Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to see all our latest products, videos and competitions. If you require more information on our products and training, please visit our website benacaremedical.com